So next topic in uh, lab view is this specific block that is called formula block. And formula block is basically like your calculator. So if you, um, like, uh, you know, previously you uh, created those programs where you will, uh, you were bringing a multiplication block and addition block and a square block and, you know, uh, higher power blocks or sine block or cosine block. Um, and you have to put together a bunch of different blocks in a bunch of different orientations uh, to make some sort of equation work or some sort of control system uh, work. Now, all those blocks that is performing, those are performing some calculation can be replaced by this formula block. And how does it work? Uh, let me go ahead and show you. Uh, so let's say you are um, doing something, let's say, let me increase the size, font size. Before, let me put them side by side, right and left. Okay. So assume that you want to do something like um, create a control system that can um, uh, determine determine the result of f of uh, x comma y equals. 2x square plus cosine 5y sine 6x. Uh, let's assume you want to evaluate uh, this uh, equation. Let me go ahead and increase the font size. I thought I did. It didn't increase. Anyways, let's say you want to evaluate uh, this equation or you want to create a, a system to represent um, a system that when you enter x and y, uh, then the result uh, is going to be evaluated according to this. Now, again, you have done these type of exam uh, exercises, and I've shown you examples how you can use the square block, and uh, I don't know if you use cosine block or sine block, but they are there, uh, and multiplication blocks and addition blocks and all those things, and how you can put them together to find the, um, uh, to create a control system that will evaluate this expression equation based on the input uh, X and Y. So let's say you don't want to go through all those uh, blocks and then addition and subtraction, this and that. Uh, so in that case, you can use formula block. Uh, so what do we need to create the system in the front panel? Uh, we have to enter X and Y. So we need uh, two numeric indicators, uh, numeric control, sorry. So I'm going to put it, put them here. Control C, Control V is going to put another one instead of bringing them. So this is my, let's say, X, and this is my Y. This is my X and Y. And then I need a numeric indicator to indicate the result of this equation. So I'm going to go ahead, numeric, and I'm going to grab an indicator and then put it here. And that is going to be my f of x comma y. So this is going to be my front panel, as simple as that. And as you can see, the corresponding um, uh, blocks, the function blocks, appeared in the block diagram. OK. So now, instead of putting the individual blocks like we did earlier, um, you know, multiplication, addition, uh, power 2, square, and stuff like that, that is required for this, instead of putting all those, uh, we're going to go ahead and we are going to use, I'm going to close programming. Uh, okay. I'm going to go to express and uh, arithmetic and then this formula block right here. Express, arithmetic, and comparison, and the formula block. And I'm going to go ahead and bring this formula block here. Now, the formula block, when, once you put it, is going to open up this calculator or, or formula writer. OK, by default, formula block has one input, x1, one output result. And these are optional. You can always, you can always check help of anything. So right click. Once this is open, you can cancel it. You can go ahead and check the help of formula block. And it will show you that uh, what are the parameters input of the formula block, what are the outputs of the formula block, and stuff like that. So 
<laughs> and, and these are all the uh, functions that you can use in the formula block. All right, to open that screen again, the calculator, just double click this thing, and then it's going to open up. All right, so now we have to write down this formula. Observe that you can have eight inputs. So you can have an equation with eight different inputs, and that can be manipulated by this formula block directly. Now, by default, uh, it will show only one input, x of one, but as you will activate these input, the input uh, on the formula block is, are going to increase. So if you use x1, x2, x3, then it will increase to three different inputs, x1, x2, x3. Now, you don't have to use these labels. Uh, you can use your own labels. So for example, I want to use x and y. So what I'm going to do, my input x1, I'm going to call it x, and my input x2, I'm going to call it y. So now instead of using x1 and x2, I'm just going to use x and y. And over here, x input will be connected to x, and the y input is going to appear, and it's going to be connected to y. So let me go ahead and write the formula two times. And if the formula is not valid, it's going to show you invalid formula. If this equation is, is going to be a valid equation, it's going to become green. So two times x, and the square is two asterisks. So two asterisks, or you can press that button, square. So it's a valid expression now, 2x squared. Uh, plus cosine phi phi. Now remember this calculator or the cosine block, if you use the cosine or sine block, trigonometric block in lab view, they always calculate, uh, they always take the angle or phase in radians. So if your phase is in degrees, make sure first convert it into radians and then use the sine cosine tangent function here or the blocks of sine cosine or tangent or whichever block you're using, okay? Uh, but make sure do not use the sine cosine function assuming that the angle is in degrees. The angle it will take into, uh, the angle that it will take is in radians. Now most of the time when you're evaluating an expression or anything, the angle is, uh, in mathematical expression, the angle is always in radians or the argument is always in radian unless it is being told that it's in degrees. Right? So if it is not told that it is in degrees, assume it is always in radians. So write down. Uh, you can just press the button, as I said. It's going to cosine, it's going to appear. I just write most of the time 5 times y and times sine of. Now make sure you have to, um, you have to show, uh, use every uh, mathematical operator like multiplication and addition. It's not going to assume that if you're writing cosine 5 by then 5 and y are being multiplied together. So you have to write 5 times y. So this is the formula. And we write this expression in the formula block and press OK and observe that y input appeared. So you're going to connect x to x. You're going to connect y to y. And you're going to connect result to fxy. And that's it. No need to use that many blocks, addition, multiplication, square, whatever. And then you can go ahead. I will run it continuously. So if I run it continuously and I change the values of x, y, this f, x, y is calculated according to this equation. Now, if uh, you are creating a control system and, and you are using uh, an equation for that control system, uh, you're allowed to use formula block. If I don't uh, specifically mention do not use formula block, then in general, you can use formula block. But if I do mention that, do not use formula block and show me how you're going to uh, create the system without formula block, then you will have to use the individual blocks and then create um, the system as you did uh, previously. So this is the formula block. And then next, we are going to discuss comparison functions.